What's up, people? This is Gabe from Omni Bros Live, and this is going to be my collection tour. So, let's just forget all the theatrics and let's just get started. Alright, so here is my first shelf here. I got two, three shelves, actually, that we'll get into, that we'll explain about. But the first shelf on this side is my DC stuff. Uh, starts with the absolutes. But before we do all that, I got some cool stuff up top. Like all these artist editions that I absolutely love. These are some of the greatest uh, pieces of work that is put out by the comics industry, mainly by IDW. Uh, I got few Fantastic Four ones on here as you can see we've got the Wally Wood Artist Edition and the Jim Lee and the John Byrne X-Men fantastic stuff here all right and then over here I got the first four volumes of Sixth Gun I have this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2012 annual this is probably one of my favorite things in my collection maybe one day I'll do a video detailing all the great stuff contained in this box that goes over to teenage mutant ninja turtles secret history of the foot clan a work print edition and hip-hop family tree volume ones and two these are my oversized books that don't really fit on the kalak shelves so moving down let's get here to the absolutes all-star superman absolute Long Halloween, Batman Hush, Absolute Dark Knight, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Uh, this is Kevin Smith's Green Arrow. Great series here. You should uh, read it, Jess. Identity Crisis, JLA Avengers, Kingdom Come, New Frontier, Superman for Tomorrow, Superman Batman. This is the Jeff Lope and McGinnis, uh, two absolutes, absolute Watchmen, Preacher, one, two, and three, Transmet, one of my favorite all-time, most beautiful comic of all time, love that series, I am ecstatic that they did three absolutes, I didn't think they would ever do hardcovers for that series, let alone absolutes. Moving on with the absolutes, we have Why the Last Man, one, two, and three, the two absolutes for authority. Alan Moore's top ten. Absolute Wildcats. Great stuff. Great stuff here. And then moving down here is the DC Omnis. With Batman. This is the Nightfall 3 Omnibus Collection. Grant Morrison's Batman. Jeff Loeb, Tim Sale. All in one Omnibus there. That's uh, what is in there? Dark Victory, Long Halloween, and I can't remember the rest. Haunted Night. Jack Kirby's Fourth Road on the Bus. Gotham Central, one of the more underappreciated books out there. Jeff Johns' Green Lantern, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. Harley Quinn, Volume 1. Harley Quinn and the Gotham City Sirens. New Teen Titans, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. 4 was canceled, but we're all expecting for that to be resolicited if it hasn't been already for later. Super Sons, one of my favorite books that came out in 2018. Superman, The Life... I'm sorry, The Death and Return of Superman Omnibus. Love that series. Perfect, perfect uh, addition for that hot 90s storyline that changed comics. Detective Comics... I'm sorry, not Detective Comics. Teen Titans. I don't know where Detective Comics came from. Uh, Planetary Omnibus. Sleeper Omnibus. Uh, Ed Brubaker. Sean Phillips. That's kind of a... Uh, don't mean the pun, but that's kind of a sleeper title. Especially when you think of Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. People usually think about their criminal stuff. But that was... I think this is like their first work they did together. Um, Superman. And then that's it for the Omnibuses. This is now Oversized Hardcovers. Superman Action Comics, Arkham Asylum, 
Batman and Hush unwrap. That's uh, the Hush storyline with all just Jim Lee pencils. Absolutely beautiful. Um, Batman the Black Glove Deluxe Edition. And then down here, a little bit, we got here in the corner is Batwoman Elegy, Shazam, Monster Society of Evil, Tom King's Fantastic Rebirth Batman Run, uh, Volumes 1, 2, and 3, Detective Comics 1, Flash Rebirth 1, Superman 1, Wonder Woman 1. I need some more of those volumes, honestly. Alright, so that's it for Mainstay DC. This is... Coming up next is the Vertigo line of DC titles. Uh, so, 100 Bullets, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fables, I don't have one. Uh, one's on its way, actually. So, I got 2, 3, 4, all the way to 11. 12, 13, 14, 15. I think it's 15 altogether. Or is, they are also on their way. Joe the Barbarian, a great Grant Morrison book. Scalped, one, two, three, four, five. This is the book that made me fall in love with Jason Aaron, and I read anything Jason Aaron writes because of Scalped. Spaceman, Sheriff of Babylon, Sweet Tooth, one, two, three. This is a Transmetropolitan Kickstarter. Uh, it's kind of an oversized book. It's a, not quite absolute, not more than oversized. I don't know where to put it, but I'll put it here. This is a Kickstarter slipcase kind of. No stories is more of artwork inspired by the world of Transmit. Death Blow, the deluxe edition, and Global Frequency. Now, standard size hardcovers. We go with Batgirl Burnside, Heart of Hush, Batman Under the Red Hood, Black Mirror, Batman New 52, Court of Owls and City of Owls, Death of the Family, Batman Earth One, Dark Knight, that's the great Paul Dini um, non-fiction story about how he was mugged, Flashpoint, uh, Flash 1, 2, 3 from New 52, uh, Legend of Wonder Woman, Shazam, and then also a Shazam Celebration of 75 Histories, uh, his name's really Captain Marvel, but whatever uh superman archive and orbiter archive number four now the trades so we got batgirl silent night that's volume one of the cassandra kane stephanie brown volume one death and the family that's i think that's legitimately my first ever collected edition i still have that did a book report on it once in school uh, Batman Broken City, I love it, shut up, uh, Batman Gates of Gotham, Dark Knight Returns, Gotham Academy, 1, 2, 3, Gotham Academy 2nd Semester, 1 and 2, Green Lantern Kyle Rayner, Volume 1, I need to get Volume 2, and that's it, Volume 3 was cancelled, we'll never see any more of that Ron, Ron Mars, Kyle Rayner stuff probably. Jonah Hex, Face Full of Violence. I need to get the rest of those. Jonah Hex is a beautiful, beautiful book. Love it. Uh, the only Grant Morrison JLA I have, American Dreams. Um, that's, that should be that's the Tower of Babel storyline. I think that's why I still have that. Nightwing, Volume 1, Omega Men, Hellblazer by Warren Ellis, Pride of the X, or Pride of the X-Men, sorry. Do, 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 do. No. Uh, Pride of Baghdad. Transmetropolitan. I love Transmet. I have every version of that book. You saw the absolutes. These are the original trade paperbacks. 1 through 10. And then down here at the bottom is kind of just the Island of Misfit stuff. With V for Vendetta. Aerosmith. Wildcats uh, 3.0. A short box of Wizard Magazines, The Power Script Book, and Jinx, uh, Earth X, another short box of Wizards, a Watchmen trade paperback. This is just a uh, short box of kind of random comic issues. 
that I used to uh, restock my spinner rack so that I can just change things up and throw cool stuff on the spinner rack every so often, switch it up a little bit. Uh, some CGCs. Another box of Wizards. The J. Scott Campbell Time Capsule. And uh, just random CGC, or I'm sorry, random Wizard magazines. Alright, so that's it for the DC section of things. Now let's get over here to the Marvel side. Uh, we'll start with the top with my cologne. This is what makes me smell beautiful. Um, so I got the Infinity Gauntlet box set. This is, I just kind of ran out of space for these. These are kind of the misfits for a Jonathan Hickman readathon with Ultimate Comics, Ultimates 1 and 2, uh, Shield Volume 1 and 2, and Secret Wars. I got Ed Piscor's uh, X Men Grand Design 1 and 2, waiting for Volume 3 to come out. That's going to be excellent. I got Uncle Scrooge's money bin, the box for the money bin, a Nintendo Switch, some magazines, uh, Mr. Miracle Trade that I borrowed from work that I'm reading, I'll bring back, and Wonder Twins. So that's just stuff, but here's the actual book books. Uh, starting off here is Amazing Spider-Man Volume 3. I don't have Volume 1 or 2, Volume 1's getting resolicited, and I'll grab that when that comes out. Amazing Spider-Man, this is a David Michelini, Todd McFarland. Annihilation. Come on. Uh, Annihilation Conquest. Astonishing X-Men. Uh, Avengers, this is the Kurt Busiek, George Perez. Volumes 1 and 2. Jonathan Hickman's Avengers, Volume 1 and 2. Ed Brubaker's Captain America Volume 1, Death of Captain America, and Captain America Lives. I don't have Volumes 3 and 4 yet. Then we have Conan the Barbarian. I do have the DM cover. Frank Miller's Daredevil. This is some of my favorite stuff here is all this Daredevil stuff. The Joe Quesada, Kevin Smith, Marvel Knights, Daredevil. Bendis Daredevil Volume 1, Bendis Daredevil Volume 2, Brubaker Volume 1, Brubaker Volume 2, Gross Shadowland, Mark Wade Volume 1, Mark Wade Volume 2, Deadpool by Joe Kelly, this is one of my favorite, favorite series, one of my favorite omnibuses in my collection. Then we have the Classics, which is just Volume 2 of this Deadpool, Deadpool Cable, Fantastic Four, Volume 1, Stanley Jack Kirby. And then we'll go down here a little bit. With Volume 2, Fantastic Four, Volume 3. Volume 1 of John Byrne. Volume 2, John Byrne. Mark Wade, Mike Raringo, one of the best Fantastic Four runs out there. Definitely a must read. Jonathan Hickman, Volume 1. Jonathan Hickman, Volume 2. Uh, the kind of whatever Matt Fraction Fantastic Four uh, Hulk Planet Hulk World War Hulk Incredible Hulk Volume 1 Fanny Gauntlet Invincible Iron Man This is the uh, Heroes Return series Loki Journey and Mystery Mighty Thor Volume 1 This is also the uh, DM cover Walt Simonson's Mighty Thor, Heroes Reborn Mighty Thor, this is Dan Jurgens, John Romita, Miles Morales, Ultimate Spider-Man, New X-Men, and one of the better 90s series, Onslaught, we have Garth Ennis' Punisher Max, Jason Aaron Punisher Max, Secret Warriors, Silver Surfer Volume 1, Silver Surfer by Dan Slott and Mike Allred. Spider-Man by Roger Stern. Foes, or Superior Foes of Spider-Man. Straczynski's Thor, Ultimate Spider-Man, Ultimate Death of Spider-Man, spoilers. 
Uh, then the Claremont Uncanny X-Men, Volume 1, 2, and 3, Uncanny X-Force, War of Kings, Prelude, Road to War of Kings, that's a mouthful, War of Kings, War of Kings Aftermath, Realm of Kings, Wolverine by Jason Aaron, uh, the Claremont X-Men, Jim Lee, Omnibuses, Volume 1 and 2, X-Force, Deadpool and X-Force, which is really just X-Force Volume 2. Age of Apocalypse, Age of Apocalypse Companion, another great 90s X-Men uh, crossover series. Ecstatic, and that's it for the omnibuses. Here comes up the oversized hardcovers. Young Justice, uh, Brian Michael Bendis' all-new X-Men, Volumes 1, 2, 3, 4. Avengers. Children's Crusade, Avengers Disassemble, Avengers Extinction, Dark Avengers, Doctor Strange The Oath, Fury, Max, which is the spinoff of Punisher Max by, this is Garth Ennis, House of M, Iron Man Extremis, Marvel's 10th Anniversary, Marvel Zombies Volume 1, Necrotia, Punisher Frankencastle, Secret Wars Siege, Spider Gwen, Spider Man Deadpool, Spider Men, which I think is in the Miles Morales on the bus. Uh, the four Thanos hardcovers, if any, Revelation, if any, Relative, Finale, and Siblings, Ultimate. Comics Doomsday, Ultimate Fantastic Four, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ultimate Spider Man 4, 1, 2, and 3 is, is in the omnibus, so it's 5, 6, 7. I don't have 8, it's the only one I'm missing, and it drives me nuts. I, will, I want it really bad. 9, 10, 11, 12. Ultimatum, Ultimatum Companion, Ultimates 1, Ultimates 2. X-Men Fatal Attraction, Bandis' Uncanny X-Men 1 and 2, Tom King's Vision, X-Force by Kyle Yost, Volumes 1 and 2, Executioner Song, X-Men Operation Zero Tolerance, X-Men Second Coming, Young Avengers, Criminal 1 and 2, Powers Definitive Hardcovers 1, 2, 3, and then the regular hardcovers. Uh, some Fantastic Four stuff here from Straczynski. Then Fantastic Four by McDuffie. World's Greatest by Miller. Master of Doom also by Miller. And The End. Halo hardcover. I love that book. It's super cool. There's some really cool Mobius stuff in there of all things. Marvel Premiere Classic Volume 8, that's Hulk the End, that has Hulk the End and Future Imperfect. Avengers, or New Avengers Illuminati. Ultimate Comics X. X Factor, this is my favorite X Factor run. Um, Peter David, when Multiple Man had his own agency, uh, private, private investigative in, uh, agency. Banner. Fantastic Four Visionaries by Perez 1 and 2. Heroes Reborn The Return. I'm waiting for the Omnibus. I don't think the, the Omnibus does not have the Return in it for whatever reason. So I'm keeping the trade. Zero Ground. Zero Ground. I read that upside down. Uh, ground Zero. Incredible Hulk Ground Zero. This is Peter David and Todd McFarland. Return of the Monster, which is the great Bruce Jones stuff. Uh, Inhumans by Paul Jenkins. Origin of Marvel Comics, Stan Lee. That's a bunch of the old school classic number ones like Thor. Well, Thor is, you know, Journey of Mystery 87 and whatnot. Madrox, which is the lead up to the X-Factor run I was just talking about. Next Wave, Thanos Redemption, Thor Ultimate Collection. Uh, that ties up the end of the Straczynski run. And one of the best, I don't care what Omar says, Omar sucks. He doesn't, I love him a lot. But uh, X-Men Trial of Gambit, 
great, great stuff here, especially if you're a Joe Mad fan like myself. All right. So, oh, and then the, the Fireside Silver Surfer. That's a great book. It was actually originally a pitch for a Silver Surfer solo movie with no mention of the Fantastic Four. And it got turned into a uh, early, early graphic novel. All right. So, if I didn't already say it already, everything is kind of organized by format. The DC stuff is all by format, absolutes, omnibuses, oversized hardcovers, standard size hardcovers, and then traits. Same with the Marvel stuff. It's omnibuses, oversized hardcovers, regular size hardcovers, and trades. Now over to sort of the uh, other publishers. Let's see here. Uh, other publishers we have, one of my favorites is Battle Chasers, which is basically like an absolute of Battle Chasers. The two volumes of, I can't really get in here because my spinner rack is kind of in the way. Sorry. Uh, Body Bags. Chew, volume one, two, and three of the Smorgish Board Edition. Bork, 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 bork. Swedish Chef. Dogma. Deadly Class Volume 1s and 2. I just finished reading those. That was great. Took a long time for it to really do anything, though, but it's, it's a good series overall. East to West Volumes 1 and 2. Echoes. Fade Out. Brian Michael Bendis' Fire. Fell Volume 1. I think it's the only volume they ever made. Actually, that's actually signed by Ben Temple Smith, which is cool. Goldfinger. Or Goldfish, sorry. Godlands 1 and 2, I need to get Volume 3. Hellspawn, I Kill Giants. Infinite, this is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive hardcover that I think is just the first issue. That's signed by Rob Liefeld and Robert Kirkman. Invincible, 1 through 7. 8, 9, 10 down here. Uh, I have 11, 12, 13 on its way. All the Kabuki trade paperbacks. And the Alchemy. I want to actually kind of upgrade to those library editions, but some of them are out of print. I'll wait for them to come back in the print. King City, Lazarus, Volumes 1 and 2. Manhattan Projects. Another great series, but I don't think they ever really finished it. it is Morning Glory. So those are Volumes 1 and 2. Officer Down. Soul Saga. This is something that you never really see a reprint of Stephen Platt's Soul Saga. Orkstein. Total Sellout. Fortune Glory. Uh, these are little fun anthology stories by Brian Michael Bendis. Paper Girls. This is Private, Private Eye. It's the only way I can get it to fit on my shelf is to fit it up standing up. Profit, one of my favorite books. Uh, you will never see a reprint of this. It seems like this is the old school original image. Rob Liefeld, Stephen Platt, Dan Panosian stuff there. Then the newer Profits. There's, I was hoping they were going to come out with a hardcover of this sometime soon, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen or not. Yeah, it's volumes one and four. I don't have one and three or even the fifth volume, which isn't called Profit. It's called something else, like Profit kingdom or something like that because i'm waiting for that hardcover y'all revival saga volume one southern bastards torso the stray bullets um what is this called like bullets and babes or no that's that's insidious is uber ales allies edition stray bullets volume six this is basically one two three four five in this big one and then six Mega Man, which is one of my favorite books. Don't don't knock it. I'm telling you, Mega Man is a sleeper hit. Uh, one through five. The Sonic Mega Man crossover. Worlds collide there. Uh, Big Stall. Walking Dead, one through eight. Aphrodisiac by the great Jim Rugg. Atmospherics by Warren Ellis. Tumor. Bad World by Warren Ellis. It's kind of like my Warren Ellis section here. Alan Moore's The Courtyard. Alan Moore's Courtyard Companion. Uh, what is this? This is that one book, that Warren Ellis book, right? 
the do anything. This is a bunch of like essays and thoughts by Warren Ellis. Freak Angels box set. Gravel by Warren Ellis. It's got the disposable assassin complete trade paperback. Irredeemable, one of the better series out there ever. Volumes one through five. Lumberjanes, two to max. The Matrix. Yep, Matrix had comics and they were great. Um, you don't really see these trades anymore. It's long gone out of print, but there's two trades. Um, Aliens in Human Condition, which is John Lehman and Sam Keith. How bitchin' is that? The Big Guy and Rusty Robot. It's Miller, Frank Miller and Jeff Darrell. Fire and Stone, the Prometheus Aliens uh, Collection. Goon, Library Edition, Volume 1. Uh, Hellboy, Library Editions. Uh, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and From Hell. Number 1 I have in a different room because I'm actually in the middle of reading number 1 right now. BPRD, Plague of Frogs, 1, 2, 3, 4. Hell on Earth, 1, 2, 3. Uh, I got 4 on the way. Fear Agent 1 and 2, Darksiders, Death's Door, Hard Boiled, and The Crossed, Crossed, Family Values, and Psychopath. So that's it for this side. I have this shelf kind of at, at its sitting sideways, so I can use both sides. And then we swing in over on here. With Major Bummer, Shaolin Cowboy, Frank Miller's Big Damn G uh, Sin City, Gem and Holograms, Prison Pit Book 2, Paul Pope's Battling Boy, and The Rise of Aurora West, those two issues, or right, two volumes, Superhero Happy Hour, The Inkle, that's the regular standard size hardcover, not the big crazy absolute slipcase one that just came out, which I am thinking about getting. Cobra, Last Laugh, Godzilla, Half Century War, and kind of snugged in here is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Volume 1 from the Peter Laird, Kevin Eastman, Mirage series. Volume 2, Volume 3. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, this is the uh, a comic book adaptation of the original 90s movie. And then the new IDW TMNT Volume 1 and 2. Transformers Phase 2, 1, 2, 3, with the complete All Hail Megatron. Last Stand of the Wreckers. Here is my little um, Craig Thompson area with Goodbye Chunky Lee Rice, Cabinet de Voyage, Blankets, Habibi Space Dumplings, The Fifth Beetle, which is a great book if, you have, if you're a fan of music or History of the Beatles are just great storytelling all, all together. Fifth Beatles is where it's at. Invader Zim, Volume 1. Bunch of Valiant stuff. I'm actually kind of thinking about selling these. Uh, Harbinger, Volume 1. Bloodshot, Volume 1 and 2. Quantum and Woody, Volume 1. Rye, 1. Book of Death. Bloodshot Reborn. Harbinger Wars. Shadow Man. Archer Armstrong and... Armor Wars. Wonton Soup is excellent. Uh, Sullivan Sluggers. This is a exclusive to a Kickstarter. Kind of a controversial Kickstarter for a little bit. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas by Tony Little. That's great stuff here. Uh, Excess County. The Slipcase. This is actually the signed Slipcase version. Uh, they came with a, uh, an original artwork on like a hockey card kind of thing, but it doesn't have the hockey card, but it is still signed and numbered. Mouse, Queen of Country, The Darkwing Duck, Omnibus, and Letter 44, Volume 1. That's it for the books. That's a look around here. But we're not done yet because there is the spinner rack. Let me close the window here. It's getting too much light. My spinner rack. I absolutely love this thing. This is one of the coolest things I own in my collection. And on here I have my Epic Collections. The Fantastic Four Epic Collections. 
Silver Surfer Epic Collections, Incredible Hulk Epic Collections, X-Men. I, I can't get the X-Men Volume 1 Omnibus, but I do have the uh, Epic Collection, so I can read, still have that storyline. And uh, Wolverine. This is the good stuff right here. This is after, this is Bone Claw's Wolverine. And he tries to get the metal back, and it messes him up. And we spin this around. I got some single issues here. This is all my my run of Watchmen. Transmit number one. A bunch of profit issues. Stephen Platt, Moon Knight. <laughs> Stephen Platt. This is a little Stephen Platt section here, actually. Soul Saga. I was talking about earlier. X Men number twenty five. I got multiple copies of that. I think I have more up in my attic. Bunch of Wildcats issues here. Death of the Family issues. Oops, this thing kind of moves on its own, including the death issue. It's a whole storyline there. Uh, here I have first appearance of Batman Beyond in normal, quote unquote, normal DC Comics continuity. Man, I got this, this really cool surfer versus Carnage versus Spider Man story there. That's just cool. And the killing joke. Spin it around a little bit more. First appearance of Hellboy there. First appearance of Carnage. This Boys is signed by both Garth Ennis and Derek Robertson. This was a gift from Jimmy, uh, a viewer of the show. Thank you very much, Jimmy. This always holds a special spot here on my spinner rack. Powers number one. That's Superman. Still in the black bag, y'all. Don't open that. Spawn. Ghost Rider 15. That's the glow in the dark cover. Batman Hush. Issue 1 was well, really Batman 608. But it's signed by Jim Lee and Alex and Claire. Thunderbolts number 1. I got multiple copies of that. And the first appearance of Thunderbolts. These guys are one of my favorite teams and group of characters ever. And spin it over. This is some more Wizard magazine. Just a bunch of random ones kind of thrown up here. But that's number 1 of Wizard. Number 20 is a really cool Sam Keith cover. That's signed by Sam Keith. He was at the store. More Sam Keith goodness. Just great stuff. Love Wizard Magazine. Such a great shot and kind of snapshot, I should say, of the 90s, which is just such a crazy era of comics. The cool Joe Mad stuff here. Joe Mad, uh, J. Scott Campbell, and Ramos. This is when they were launching Cliffhanger. Wizard 10, which is cool because you get Cable and Shaft. I don't think Marvel was very happy about that team up on that cover. And just more Wizards. Steven Platt's Prophet. Love this cover. Joe Mad. Frank Miller. There's a great, uh, there's a great one here. It's all about Heroes Reborn. Some more Joe Mad, but this is badass because my boy Maggot's on the cover. That's why I have it here. 